Hypersonic jet engines represent one of the most fascinating frontiers in aviation and propulsion technology, pushing the boundaries of speed, efficiency, and design in ways that redefine how we think about flight. When we talk about hypersonic speeds, we are referring to anything above Mach 5, which is five times the speed of sound. To put that into perspective, an aircraft cruising at hypersonic velocity could travel from New York to London in less than 90 minutes. The idea of harnessing this kind of power has long captured the imagination of engineers, militaries, and even the public. But turning that vision into reality requires engines that can endure extreme conditions, deliver consistent performance, and remain reliable at speeds where traditional propulsion simply cannot function. At the heart of this technological pursuit are jet engines specifically designed to operate in hypersonic regimes. Engines, often categorized as scramjets or supersonic combustion ramjets, unlike the conventional turbojet or turbofan engines used on today's commercial and military aircraft, scramjets have no rotating parts like turbines or compressors. Instead, they use the aircraft's tremendous forward speed to compress incoming air before mixing it with fuel and igniting it. This makes the design both elegant and extremely challenging. At Mach 5 and beyond, the airflow entering the engine is moving so quickly that managing combustion becomes a delicate balancing act. Engineers must ensure that fuel ignites and burns efficiently in fractions of a second before the air rushes out the back of the engine. The performance potential of hypersonic engines is staggering. A scramjet-powered aircraft could maintain speeds well above Mach 5 for sustained periods. Something rockets can achieve, but only by carrying huge amounts of oxidizer and fuel, which makes them heavy and expensive. Hypersonic jet engines, by contrast, use the oxygen in the atmosphere, drastically reducing weight and making them more efficient for air-breathing flight. This means such engines could be the foundation for future aircraft that bridge the gap between aviation and spaceflight, enabling rapid global travel or even providing the first stage for reusable space launch systems. One of the defining features of hypersonic engines is their reliance on aerodynamic compression rather than mechanical compressors. In simple terms, the shape of the engine inlet and the body of the aircraft itself funnel and compress the incoming air as it rushes in at hypersonic speeds. The engine is essentially a hollow tube with carefully shaped geometry. Designed so that when the aircraft is moving fast enough, air pressure and shock waves naturally slow and compress the airflow to the conditions needed for combustion. This is where the engineering brilliance comes in, because the design has to ensure stable combustion despite the chaotic environment of shock waves, turbulence, and extreme heat. Thermal management is another critical aspect of hypersonic propulsion. At speeds exceeding Mach 5, air friction against the surface of the aircraft generates temperatures that can climb well above 1000 degrees Celsius. This heat not only stresses the airframe but also impacts the engine itself. Engineers must design materials and cooling systems that can survive these punishing conditions without degrading or failing. Advanced ceramics heatresses and alloys, and innovative cooling methods such as circulating fuel through engine walls before combustion are some of the solutions being explored. In many designs, the fuel does double duty, acting as both a propellant and a coolant, absorbing heat before being injected into the combustion chamber. In terms of unique selling points, hypersonic jet engines offer a blend of speed, efficiency, and practicality that rockets and conventional aircraft cannot match. Rockets are powerful but inefficient, as they must carry oxidizer and are generally limited to space launches rather than atmospheric travel. Conventional jets are efficient but cannot sustain flight anywhere near hypersonic speeds. Hypersonic engines occupy the sweet spot, using atmospheric oxygen like a jet, but achieving velocities closer to those of rockets. This opens possibilities for military strike aircraft capable of reaching targets thousands of miles away in minutes. Reconnaissance planes that can outrun any threat. And commercial transport systems that could make long-distance travel almost instantaneous compared to today's standards. From a layman's perspective. Think of a hypersonic engine as a controlled explosion inside a tube where the air is rushing through faster than a rifle bullet. The design has no spinning blades or fans but instead uses speed and clever shaping to compress, ignite, and accelerate the air-fuel mixture. The result is thrust that grows more efficient the faster the aircraft goes, which is the opposite of conventional jet engines that lose efficiency as speeds increase. In fact, scramjets cannot even operate at low speeds! 
they require a boost, often from rockets or other engines, to get them to hypersonic velocity before they can start working effectively. Once they are at the right speed, though, their efficiency shines. The design of hypersonic engines also reflects their unique operating conditions. The inlets are carefully contoured to manage shock waves, which are powerful pressure fronts generated at hypersonic speeds. These shock waves can destroy stability if not controlled, but when properly harnessed, they help compress the air entering the engine. The combustion chamber must be relatively short and precisely shaped to allow fuel to mix and burn in microseconds. Finally, the exhaust nozzle is designed to expand the gases smoothly converting the intense energy of combustion into usable thrust. Every curve, angle, and dimension matters, because at hypersonic speeds, even tiny inefficiencies can lead to catastrophic instability. Performance studies showed that hypersonic engines could maintain speeds up to Mach 10 under the right conditions, though sustained flight at such velocities presents extraordinary engineering challenges. The airflow patterns inside the engine at those speeds become almost unmanageable without advanced computational modeling and testing. Still, advances in computer simulations, wind tunnels, and flight testing are gradually overcoming these obstacles. Recent experimental programs, such as those run by NASA, DARPA, and various international partners, have successfully demonstrated scramjet engines in flight, proving that the concept works outside the laboratory. Another intriguing aspect is how hypersonic jet engines could integrate with hybrid propulsion systems. Some designs envision aircraft that use conventional jet engines to take off, then switch to a ramjet at supersonic speeds, and finally transition to a scramjet at hypersonic speeds. This staged approach allows the aircraft to function across a wide range of velocities, addressing the limitation that scramjets cannot operate from a standstill. In some futuristic concepts, these engines could even work in tandem with rocket boosters to enable access to low Earth orbit, giving rise to fully reusable space planes. For the military, the appeal of hypersonic propulsion is clear. Strike systems powered by hypersonic engines could deliver weapons or reconnaissance platforms at unprecedented speed, reducing enemy reaction time to near zero. A hypersonic aircraft could take off from a base and reach a theater of operations in less than an hour, potentially striking high-value targets with precision before adversaries even realize what is happening. In the realm of defense, speed equals survivability, and hypersonic propulsion gives unmatched speed. For reconnaissance, the ability to fly at Mach 6 or higher means adversary defenses are virtually incapable of interception. This would give commanders eyes in the sky in contested environments where slower aircraft or satellites might be vulnerable. For civilian applications, the vision is just as exciting. Hypersonic passenger jets could revolutionize global travel, shrinking continents, and making distant cities accessible in the time it currently takes to make a short domestic flight. Imagine boarding a hypersonic transport in Tokyo and stepping off in Los Angeles two hours later. While this future is still decades away, the principles of hypersonic propulsion are paving the way for such possibilities. The commercial challenges include not only engine reliability, but also safety, environmental impact, and cost effectiveness. But with research accelerating, these hurdles may one day be overcome. From an engineering standpoint, perhaps the most impressive aspect of hypersonic jet engines is their simplicity and concept paired with their complexity and execution. The scramjet is essentially a carefully shaped tube, yet making that tube function correctly at Mach 5 or Mach 10 requires some of the most advanced material science, computational fluid dynamics, and testing ever undertaken. It is a reminder that in aerospace, simplicity on paper can mask extraordinary technical difficulty in reality. But that difficulty is worth the effort, because once achieved, the performance potential far exceeds anything available today. Material science is a cornerstone of hypersonic development. Traditional metals like aluminum and titanium cannot withstand the heat loads of hypersonic flight for long. Engineers are turning to composites, ceramic matrix materials, and exotic alloys designed to retain strength at extreme temperatures. Some designs even incorporate actively cooled surfaces where fuel circulates under the skin of the aircraft to absorb and dissipate heat before entering the combustion chamber. Without such innovations, 
Hypersonic engines and airframes would melt under the relentless thermal stress. Control at hypersonic speeds is another frontier. Unlike subsonic or even supersonic flight, where aerodynamic surfaces like flaps and rudders can be adjusted predictably, hypersonic flight occurs in an environment dominated by shock waves and plasma effects. Traditional control methods often prove insufficient. Engineers are exploring novel concepts like reaction control systems, adaptive inlets, and plasma actuators to maintain stability. The engine must be seamlessly integrated into this system. Since airflow through the propulsion system directly impacts the stability of the entire aircraft, testing hypersonic engines is itself an immense challenge. Wind tunnels capable of replicating Mach 5 conditions are rare and expensive to operate often able to simulate flight for only a few seconds at a time. Flight testing requires experimental vehicles that are costly and often expendable. Each test provides valuable data, but progress can be slow and incremental. Despite this, the last two decades have seen breakthroughs, including successful scramjet flights at Mach 7 and Mach 10 in experimental programs. These achievements prove that hypersonic propulsion is not just theoretical but viable with further refinement. Another selling point lies in the potential for re- Unlike rockets, which often discard stages after a single use, hypersonic engines could be designed for multiple flights, lowering costs over time. A reusable hypersonic platform could drastically reduce the expense of accessing space or conducting long-range missions. This is particularly attractive in an era where cost efficiency is just as important as raw performance. When looking at the big picture, hypersonic jet engines symbolize the future of aviation propulsion. They merge the atmosphere-breathing efficiency of jets with the speed of rockets, opening doors to applications that range from ultra-fast passenger travel to strategic military dominance and space launch systems. For the general audience, the key takeaway is that these engines are about more than speed. They represent a shift in how we harness the forces of nature, turning airflow at unimaginable velocities into controlled, useful, thrust. They embody decades of research and engineering brilliance, and while there are still hurdles to overcome, the trajectory of progress is unmistakable.